It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got something new from Tom McDonald and Nova Rockefeller. I hope that their album sales have gone crazy. I know they just dropped some projects recently, and I'm sure that they have because they've been doing numbers for a minute now. This one is called Goodbye Joe. Pretty sure we're talking about Biden, right? I can't think of anybody else that we could be talking about. It's going to be interesting, right? The election is going on right now. I'll be honest with you. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to a lot of politics. I find that there are some things on both sides that I tend to agree with. And I do feel like both sides have some crazy people on the extreme ends of it. And I've always felt like Tom has kind of called that out. Like he does show which side he prefers, but he does call out a lot of the F shit that seems to go on. And I always appreciate that. And I'm very interested to see who is going to win. I, 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 it's, it's weird that I say this, but I almost wake up the next morning and I kind of look forward to the apocalypse, which is what I like to call it. Because one side is going to be very upset. And that shit is definitely going to sp uh, spill into social media. You're going to see a lot of people going at it head to head, a lot of crazy shit. And I'm just going to sit back and just read it and just just watch and just enjoy. You know what I'm saying? So, But either way, Joe is gone. And I think it's for the best. Like when he got in office, I said myself, regardless of whether or not he ends up being a good president, I, I have no idea. But I don't think that he's going to fulfill his whole four years because he just looked like he was declining. And I, I had even made a prediction that by the second or third year, he was going to have to step out and Kamala would end up stepping in his place. That didn't end up happening, but I think we could all agree that he's declined. And I don't think that he's really capable of being a president as of right now. And at the end of the day, I, I wish him the best. I don't know what he's dealing with. I wish his family the best. I'll never wish any bad thing on anybody, but he is not fit to run a country. I totally will. I, I, I just, I can't help but say that. I think that that's the truth. Regardless of what side you stand on, I think we all can kind of see that. So anyways, I'm chatting now. Let's dive into this. Let's see what they was up to. America is going. Oh, hold up, hold up. Okay, I was like, wait, where did it start from? I was a few seconds in. America is going woke. The streets are full of fire and smoke. This ain't the way I thought it would be. They're facts. The White House full of evil folks. Americans ain't free no more. They don't respect folks like you and me. Ooh. The way we're treated ain't been fair. Fake news on every TV. Four years we've been in this nightmare. Why they killed American dreams. Yo. <laughs> you know what's funny? I wanted to pause it, but I didn't. Let me go back really quick because one thing that he says, I want to elaborate on it from my perspective real quick. The White House full of evil folks. Americans ain't free no more. They don't respect folks like you and me. So when he says they don't respect folks like you and me, I feel like that doesn't apply to me because as of right now, when I go on social media, it seems like black people could just do whatever we want. We could be completely racist towards white people. And it's like, well, we deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like it's, it's some of the wildest shit that I've ever seen. And it is like, we could say whatever we want. We can come up with nicknames for white people. We could, and no one's going to call us out on it. But if a white person does it, it's like, yo, they are racist. And it's, it's just a wild dynamic. And I've kind of been on the side of like, yeah, I, I, I love my culture. You know, as far as like the black culture, there are things that I don't like and things that I've called out myself as far as like, we got to get the gang shit under control. There's a lot of things that make us look bad from the outside looking in. And I don't think that it's wrong for me to acknowledge that. I think it's wrong for us to not acknowledge that as a whole. And that's something that we need to fix. Little things like that, because it, it, it makes me look bad. Like people go out here and they use, let's say your one experience with a black person with some gang shit. You see me, you're going to think I'm on the same shit. I'm not. And now people shouldn't judge a whole group based on a few experiences, but inevitably that's what happens, right? Your mind creates a bias and then you start to go down that path. And a lot of times people don't even realize that that's happening. But I've noticed that it's it's just a weird position. The, the life is, is, is crazy. And the country is in a very weird space where I, I, it's hard to even explain. Like it's a whole video that I can make on this, but I just heard him say that. And I'm like, well, I feel like I don't fit that because I'm, I'm black. I get the pass on everything right now. <laughs> shit, shit crazy out here. And I'm not saying that that's like the worst. If, hey, listen, Hey, if you want to give me some shit, you want to put me up on a pedestal. You wanna, hey, I'm cool with it. But I don't think that it should be like that because I think that inevitably we don't need this pendulum swinging back and forth over who gets hate, who like, we need to find a middle ground where we all can just reside and things are good. And I don't know that we're ever going to find it, but I think we should always be trying to. Hopefully that made sense. The way we treated ain't been fair. Fake news on every TV. Facts. Four years we've been in this nightmare. Why they killed American dreams. We can't afford our lives here. Ran food and gas and leaves. Colors don't run and the only one he wants. Buddy, don't tread on me. I won't forget the ones who died for our freedom. And I ain't gonna hand it back. No, no, no. 
I agree with that as well. What was it that I just made a video on recently? There was something about some woman. Was it a woman? Who was it? Oh my God, I can't believe I'm, I'm forgetting this, but there was somebody that was hating on veterans. Oh, it was that girl on, on Twitch. I forgot her name because she's a forgettable person, but she's a little, little chunky, which is fine. There's not, I'm a little chunky right now. But she, Frogan, and she was saying like, you all American soldiers should get PTSD. It's like, bitch, what? What are you talking about? First of all, you live in America. So all the privileges that you have living here, you're getting because these people went out and did that shit. So if you feel that strongly against it, then shouldn't you not live here? And the reason is not just because it's like, well, if you don't like it, don't live here. It's more so isn't living here and taking advantage of these privileges that you say that we've attained through bad means and doing horrible shit. Doesn't that mean that you support it because you're now partaking in those privileges? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I am not built to go out there and fight a war and do all the things that some of these soldiers have done. So I, why, why would I not show them anything but respect? It just is crazy to me. Absolutely crazy to me. And as far as what I said the last time I paused, I already know there's going to be some people that are going to get at me from both sides. Like, obviously, there are still bad situations where black people can be looked at in a certain way. We may not get the, the better end of the stick in some situations. But then there's other public opinion situations in social media where we're like treated like we could do anything. It's, it's I don't know. Again, the world is in a really weird place right now. I, I don't like it. But I'm just sitting back and just watching the, the fire unfold. If liberty and justice ain't enough to believe in, then get out of here and don't look back. Don't Three. Go. We love our America is losing hope divided by the way we vote this ain't the way that this soul should be that is a fact and I don't feel like it was this way in the past and I get that there's different issues, but a lot of the big issues that are causing division is stuff that has always been a thing that we've talked about, whether it's abortion, whether it's, you know, immigrants, whether the, any of this stuff, I feel like this has always been a talking point, but I don't remember when I was younger, everybody fighting and being at odds and being like, well, you're picking this side and this president, well, we're picking this well, we can't be friends. I, I don't remember that. I remember people having some debates and talking about shit. But that was it. Nowadays, it's like people are ready to kill each other over what side they're on and they start wishing death on the other side. Like when the, the shooting happened where they tried to get Trump, people were like, oh, I wish more people in the stands got shot. What? I, I just I don't get that. Like, I, I, I listen, I'm team people. Are there some people that are horrible that don't deserve shit? You know what I mean? Like people that do horrible things that are outside of politics. Of course. But overall, like we should all be team people. We're all in this together. If, if we all fail, we all fail. We all die. We all don't continue on. You know what I'm saying? Like at some point, we've got to grasp some kind of like teamwork you know what i mean we might not agree on everything but teamwork i'm, I'm losing my voice I'm, I'm, i got some shit in my throat i don't know i'm just getting frustrated though because this shit be stressing me out we're fighting over memes and jokes they're burning flags that we hold close they think that war's only overseas yep You'll see America. Oh, 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 oh. She don't look quite like she did. Oh, oh, oh. This ain't the country that our parents love. Oh, oh, oh. But I still hear her on the wind. Oh, oh, oh. We love our home, and if you don't, pack your bags, you're free to go. Don't let the big door hit you with a good luck. Wave goodbye to Joe. We love our land. If you 
Wayne fans, body will help you back your bags. Don't let the big door hit you with the good Lord spit you out. Burn someone else. Yo, I like that bar though. Don't let the big door hit you with the good the Lord split you, whatever. The, yo, I like that. I like that. So I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. Few things I want to say. One, a lot of people get it, Tom, because they're like, oh, he just keeps making this political rap because it's getting views. and death. I think that people are, are, are assuming that things have to be mutually exclusive. I think that's the term that I'm looking for. But it, it's, it's not, right? Like, yes, these are getting views. Do I think that part of him is like, yo, it, it works. So why not do it? I, I don't disagree that part of him thinks that, but I don't think that he's just doing it for that reason alone. I don't think he's just making up his opinion on things. I think that he genuinely feels the way that he feels about stuff, and he's decided to put it into his music. It worked out and got even more views than some other shit, and so it's like, it's a win-win. Like, I don't know why no one looks at it like that. It's like, I get to give you my opinion. I get to spread what I feel and get debates and, and conversations and discussions started amongst a whole lot of people that listen to it. And I also get the views and it allows me to continue to do what I love to do. I think both things can be true. I just don't know why people are looking at it like it's one way. I don't know. I like Tom. I like Nova. Also, shout out to Nova because I want to say after the last video where I plugged my Twitch, she actually followed me on Twitch, which is dope. I didn't even know that she did Twitch like that. So I followed her back. If I see her live, I definitely got to stop in and watch some of the stuff that she does. But yeah, anyways, twitch.tv slash Dwayne TV. I'm just saying link down below. It's I'm all over the place. I could be gaming. I play all sorts of different games. So sometimes it could be a shooter. It could be an MMORPG. I'm all over the place. Fridays, we do do music reactions. And then other times we just watch random videos and just talk shit and ask weird questions. I think the latest question that we asked was if you had to find out one thing about your significant other between her cheating or not her, it could be he, her, you know, cause it could be a woman and a man, either side you're on your significant other either cheats on you or they're a murderer. And you find out which one would you prefer? I asked it on Twitter with a poll. And so far many people are saying that they would rather find out their significant other is a murderer than a cheater, which is kind of wild when you think about it. Cause that means that somebody lost their life. And that also means that how do you know she ain't never going to turn and want to kill you? But I guess like people have been through being cheated on and that pain sucks. And a lot of people are like, yo, I'd rather find out that she out here bodying people than she cheating on me, you know, catching bodies. So, I, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. But these are the dumb things that we ask on my stream. So stop in some time. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to Nova. I think that this was a dope video. Again, I like these because I feel like it brings around a lot of dialogue that needs to happen. Conversations, discussions. I like to see what you guys think in the comments. I give my own personal opinion, my own personal experiences. And we kind of just go from there. So. Anyways, take it easy, stay safe. I will catch you in the next one, homie.